Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to go over an introduction to limits, kind of tell you guys exactly what they are and how to solve for them, more importantly. And you'll see limits written like this. You may see lim, or you may actually see in cursive, a lot of times they write it like that. But more times than not, you'll see limit, and then they'll say limit of some function. And then later on down the road, they may give you that function. They say if the function defined as x plus 2. Now sometimes you may not even see function, you may just see limit of x plus 2. But a lot of times they will give you limit of some function and then later define that function or define it before. And a lot of times they'll say as x approaches some number, and this number can be anything, it can even be infinite. And so today we're going to take a look at a couple functions and then how we actually find that limit. So the first one we're going to look at today is limit, writing in cursive just so you see different things, of some function as x approaches 1. And this function is going to be x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. So if we graph this out, and bear with me, it's not going to be exactly to scale, but you'll get the point of it. If we graph this out, it's going to look something like this. If you can tell here, at 1, it's undefined. If up here we plug in 1, we get 0 on the bottom. You can't have 0 on the bottom of a fraction, it's undefined. So this function would be undefined at zero. So if we plug in one to get a coordinate, a point on this line, it's not going to be there. So we draw a circle there. This is not a continuous line here. But what this is asking is as x approaches one. And what this means is from both sides of this graph, as this graph approaches from everything right of 1 and as it, everything approaches from left of 1, what number is it getting closer and closer to? And one of the ways you can solve this, if this was defined, we could plug in the number. More times than not, they're going to give you something that's not defined, so you just can't plug in the number. Now, if we could just plug in the number, then we would. We would just plug in 1 and actually solve for that point because we know we'd be approaching that. But since there's a circle here, what we can do is we can plug in as it approaches 1 in your calculator, you can plug in x equals 0.999. And if you plug in 0.999, you get 0.999 squared minus 1 divided by 0.999 minus 1. And you try to find the y point on here. And if you do this, you'll get y is equal to 1.999. And then you can come from the other side, because again, we're taking the limit, so we're seeing as it approaches 1 from both sides. x is 1 right here, and that's what we're looking for. As it approaches x from both sides, what is y equal to? And if you plug in, we'll say, since we're doing 1, if we do... If we plug in 1.001, which would be towards the other side, very, very close. If we plug that in here, 1.001 squared minus 1, divided by 1.001 minus a 1, then we get y equals 2.001. And as we can see, as it approaches from both sides, the limit of function x, as x approaches 1, it gets closer and closer to 2. It doesn't equal to, and that's okay, and that's what a limit is, but they're just asking what it, it gets closer and closer to. So the limit of function x as x approaches 1 is going to be 2. So that's kind of how it's used. We're going to go over one more so you kind of understand. But basically all you're looking for is from both sides of this limit, what number is it approaching. So we're going to take a look at one more.
The next function we're going to look at, I'll go ahead and say the limit of f of x when f of x equals 2x minus 1 over x. Now again, a lot of times you may see this right here. You may not see the limit of f of x, you may just see the limit of 2x minus 1 over x. Doesn't really matter, but a lot of times you'll see the, the function itself defined outside of the limit. But find the limit of f of x when f of x is this, when x approaches infinity. So as x gets farther and farther and bigger and bigger, what does x get closer and closer to? Or what does the function get closer and closer to? So if we graph this out here, we know x will get closer and closer to infinity. If we graph this out, we know right away that it's undefined at zero. Since zero cannot be on the bottom here, we know that there's n it's not a continuous line on this graph. So it's going to look something like this. That's a terrible line, more like. Y'all may not notice the difference there, but it was a big difference. All right, so in this graph, as you can see, what we're looking for is as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, what does this function approach? And so the first thing that we can do is start plugging in numbers and start to see where it approaches. So if we start with 1, remember we're trying to get to infinity here. If we plug in 1, we get 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 1 is 1. So at 1, 1, we know that. Let's plug in 2 here. We plug in 2, we get 4 minus 1 is 3, divided by 2 is 3 halves. So at 2, or 3 halves. Then let's go even bigger. If we plug in 10 here, then we're going to get 20 minus 1 over 20. 19 over 20. Okay? And then we can continue even... Sorry. 20 over 10. So we have 19 over 10. And then we can continue on and let's plug in 100. We'll get 200 minus 1 over 100 and that'll be 199 over 100. And then we can continue on and continue on and we'll get 19999 over a lot of zeros and as you can tell, what is it approaching? It's closely approaching this being that number and this being equal to 2. So as you can tell, as x approaches infinity, this function gets closer and closer to the function equaling 2. Now it doesn't equal 2, but it gets closer and closer to it equaling 2. So the limit of this function as x approaches infinity the answer is 2. So this is your intro to limits. Later on we're going to get into a little bit more advanced limits and then talk about how you can use that in calculus with derivatives. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you check out themathworld.com to try out limits on your own with the practice problem. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.